So can you just sort of sum up the excitement uh, ahead of such a massive tournament for you and squad? There's loads of excitement. Um, I think for me, as I keep saying, there's been a little bit of relief. Um, I've had a tiring two years with injuries, so for me to be here right now, knowing that I'm on the plane, um, there's a definite element of relief for me, as well as that enjoyment and that excitement factor. Was it nice to get through the season sort of unscathed or to get to this point fit and so you're going to be on the plane and you're going to be out there? Yeah, definitely. I think, you know, 18 months ago when I set my plan out, the end goal was to be at the World Cup. Um, so whichever way and what route I got there, it didn't really matter as long as I, that was still an option for me. So um, the fact that it's been so long and the season's not worked out exactly as I planned it, I'd have loved to have had a year under my belt of playing, um, but it hasn't quite worked out like that. But for me, I'm just happy that I'm here, I'm healthy, I'm in a good place um, and hopefully I'll be fit for the tournament. And expectations in the country, probably off the back of what happened in 2015 and the growth of the game since then, are high. Do you feel that weight of expectation in the squad? Um, I think there's an expectation around us as um, people in our own squad, probably not from the, the global aspect. I think we have created our own expectation of what we want to go and achieve uh, at this World Cup. 2015 was great to be a part of. It was like a snowball effect for the women's football. Um, and we just need to make sure that we're successful. I think that's the biggest thing that we can do. If we can be um, open and honest with the media and keep these engaged and, and keep rolling the sort of snowball, as we say, and make it bigger and bigger and bigger. This, the women's game needs it. What would you define as success at this tournament? Right now, I think we want to go. We're in it to win it. That's what our motto is going to be. Um, we want to go and achieve something, and that's history. Um, but as I keep saying to a lot of people, is in tournament football, anything can happen. You know, you can win and lose a game within two minutes. So we have to take each game as it comes. We have to do the, you know, the basic things right, and we have to take, you know, very good care of ourselves when we're out there. Um, so we're in it to win it. We are definitely, but we do have to make sure that we do the basics. Tough group. Definitely. It's going to be three tough games. Um, we'll make sure that we concentrate on our first two, first and foremost. Um, we always want to start the group with a win. If we win the game, it puts a little bit of less pressure on for the next two. Um, and then we go from there then.